Mehdi Hassan hits the nail on the head. It is time to lean in. It is time to lean in. You know, the crazies that we see on TV telling people who are trying to save the children of America going to school that we know who you are. We know where you live. We're going to get you. What are you going to get me for? Why do you want to hurt me? We are going to get you. Why are you going to hurt me? Because I want to save your kids. Because I want your kids to live. Because I want your kids not to get infected. The psychopathic behavior that many have instilled into otherwise good people is completely, completely, un, un, it's not understandable. I want you to see this and then we'll take it on the other side. One of the most frustrating aspects of this pandemic has been the way in which basic public health measures like social distancing, masks, vaccines, have all been dragged by the GOP into America's ridiculous culture wars. I mean, just check out this video from a One of the most frustrating aspects of this pandemic has been the way in which basic public health measures like social distancing, masks, vaccines, have all been dragged by the GOP into America's ridiculous culture wars. I mean, just check out this video from a school board meeting in Franklin, Tennessee last night, showing anti-mask protesters screaming at medical professionals who had just spoken in favor of masks in schools. We know who, we you, know are. who you are. We know, we who, know, you know are. who you are. You can leave freely, but we will find you, and we know who you are. You will never be allowed in public again. You will never be allowed. I know who you are. I know who you are. You will never be allowed in public again. Absolutely bonkers. But here's the thing. As with so many culture war issues, Liberals and Democrats are running away from these fights when they should be leaning into them and winning them. Those screaming anti-maskers are not the majority in this country. Just look at this new polling out today from Morning Consult and Politico. 56% of registered voters say they support requiring vaccines for all Americans except those with medical conditions. And we know the vast majority of American adults support getting vaccinated. They prove that with their own arms. 71.2% of them have now had at least one shot. This new polling shows broad support for mask mandates, too. 64% of registered voters say they support local governments requiring employees to wear masks in offices. 61% support requiring masks for indoor dining. 62% support requiring masks at gyms. And 65% support requiring masks at entertainment venues. So these mandates are clearly a winning issue for Democrats. A clear and big majority of the American people are on their side. Oh, and as for the other side... Well, they are just drenched in hypocrisy. Take a listen to Texas Republican Senator Ted Cruz's latest anti-mask mandate, anti-vaccine rant on Fox News earlier this week. My views were very simple. There should be no mandates, zero concerning COVID. That means no mask mandates, regardless of your vaccination status. That means no, ma no vaccine mandates. Th that means no vaccine passports. And I've introduced legislation, a bill to ban vaccine passports. This week, I'm introducing a bill to ban vaccine mandates. And this will, I'm, uh, week, I'm introducing a bill to end mask mandates. Just one small point, Ted Cruz. Your children attend an elite private school in Houston, Texas, at a cost of more than $25,000 a year, whereas the blog Boing Boing reports masks are required, quote, the school views the use of face coverings as an important way that we as a community can slow the spread of the virus and protect one another. Due to the current situation in our community, all persons on campus will be required to have a face covering. So according to Ted Cruz, there should be no mask mandates except apparently at his own kid's very expensive school. No mandatory masks for your children in the classroom, but they're fine for mine. Oh, hypocrisy. Ted Cruz be thy name. And let's remember that we have some very strong moral leaders in Texas, in, in uh, Tennessee, in Florida, that are bucking their irresponsible governor and some even their irresponsible boards. Unfortunately, I don't live in an area where we have a responsible board that bucks the governor to say, I care more about humanity. I care more about children. I care more about the lives of these children. I care about not turning these children into a, 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 an AK-47 of COVID-19 into a building that will infect, that will likely get quite a few of these kids maimed for life or killed. 
And these guys are acting out. They're screaming at somebody trying to do good. They're screaming at somebody who's trying to protect their own kids. Grown men. Did that seem like grown men? What, what can we think about the child, the children that these grown men are going to produce or have produced? What kind of character have with parents like this? Hopefully, others will rub off and do better. But folks, uh, we need those that are progressives, those are, that are progressives, those that are liberal, those that are conservative with a mind, conservative with intrinsic morality. You've got to go out there and lean in. This is a topic that for those who lean in, they're the ones that show they're humane. They're the ones that show they care about kids. They care about people. They care about humanity. Don't allow these guys to somehow get the upper hand for being inhumane, for being immoral, and for being simply wrong. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.